I'm Rick and I'm going to show you how to mount your fish finder from your boat and make it portable for ice fishing because it's uh, coming up and uh, we have no ice yet uh, and uh, I'm going nuts so I'm going to put this all together basically it's going to be uh, uh, straightforward and down and dirty you're going to need a fish finder I'm going to use the Helix 5 my wife bought me this this year and it's an excellent fish finder we're going to need something to put it in, which is going to be one of these plain old field boxes. Uh, you can buy them at any uh, Canadian tire store for you Canucks, or uh, if you're in the States, you can buy similar uh, items of different brand names and stuff. But you basically need a box that will all fit in. You need a uh, battery pack. I'll get a video uh, link up for you on how to do this. This is a um, one I put together instead of spending... Um, approximately around forty to fifty dollars for your battery pack uh... you can make one up for about um, ten to twenty dollars depending on how you do it uh... you'll need to mount your uh, helix five which is a excellent fish finder it has the mode for ice fishing which is what we're working on and uh... we'll show you how to modify your uh... transducer uh, for your ice fishing because um, this is the one that comes with it it comes on a board it doesn't come on a board I put it on a board there's the mount for it right there and it mounts in this little section here and then you have it on your boat well I took it off and the um, result is I've made up a way to make it uh, suspend for ice fishing basically up and down in the floats and I'll show you this so uh, I'll proceed with this and um, basically it should work out for everybody uh, once again you should know about uh, 12 volt electrics you should have some basic power tools you should be able to be basically put something together yourself and be able to check it so stay tuned I would suggest the first thing that you do is make sure that your power source is hooked up there's your batteries I'm using a standard cigarette lighter attachment and I use a plug-in that has a little LED that comes on to let you know that you got your power. Get your volt ohm meter before you start and check and make sure that you've got your power proper as in the white wire on this one was a hot and the black was the negative. You don't want to wire it backwards. Make sure of it before you connect it. After you finish that and you know you've got your power make sure that your unit's working and as you can see it's fired itself up it's getting all upset because the transducer's not there and um, nothing will work without your equipment hooked up this is a down imaging only this one no GPS uh, or the rest of it okay so we'll continue All right, here's the unit mounted as if you were out ice fishing. The transducer's out, power wire uh, for the unit and the rest of it. You double check yourself to make sure you've got it hooked up right. And basically you've got room in the box. That's why I took this box as compared to the other box back here is there was more room even though it's uh, shorter, it's uh, deeper. And then what you do is you just basically uh, get to your ice fishing mode and then you can do your program from there online and with your Helix 5 there's all kinds of information on how to set this up. The uh, box itself I made a uh, small hole here the top you should have your holes uh, tight or sealed because you don't want water getting in. When you're done your fishing for the day this should come down onto the ice and you take your transducer and you tuck it inside your box and then you take your box lid put your wires back here close her down and you're ready to pick it up and take it uh, take it home when you get home and you want to get your uh, batteries out to recharge what you have to do is you have to take your transducer out you have to take your you can tuck your wires in any way you want to. This is the way I did mine. Your power uh, and transducer wires. 
tuck them inside. It keeps the battery from moving around because there's the battery in there right now. Okay, you're going to want to take your battery out. There's the little green light on. And you're going to want to go and replace it with another battery. You take that out. You put your battery in. You put your wiring harness behind it. You tuck it in. Then you take your other wiring set up here, which is this. And you tuck it in. And that takes care of your battery moving around because now it's wedged in there nice and tight. Take your transducer, which you have room for at the other end. You bring your wires down. You make sure that they come back through that, that little notch in there for the loop. And, oh yeah, one of the wires is just being a dick. There we are. You got that there. And there you are, all set up. I'll show you uh, how to do the transducer up now. That'll save you a hundred dollars and how to make it so that you can uh, use it when you want to go fishing instead of buying one because they'll sell you the ice fishing transducer for this and that's what we're setting it up for is ice fishing. The way I've modified the transducer it will um, it'll make sense. Just hang on. Alrighty, there's your uh, transducer as it comes from Hummingbird. There's the modification. You can uh, move this up and down if you have to. Trouble is, when you get it up this far, it doesn't really stay uh, firm. I've got it uh, holding on the little grommet down here. Uh, you can tighten these up more. All this is is a six-inch piece of pipe insulation, half inch inside diameter, and a couple of zip ties, just uh, zip tied top and bottom. Another thing you can do if you want is you can mount some clamps like I have done here and a piece of three quarter inch doweling or broom handle or, or what, whatever you like and you just basically take your transducer and mount it on there with a, a nut and a bolt and uh, that'll do for when the water gets deeper. The best way to use this is probably drill a partial hole on the ice, put some water in it, and that'll uh, that'll give you your uh, transducer beam to go down. If not, uh, if you can't, just put it in the hole like this and it just it just sits about this deep in the hole. Okay, uh, Then you'll have to come up with something to put on here to modify it, like a zip tie, for instance. Put around there, tightened up, and what will happen is, is this will come up to the top, and then it won't go any further. So you can set your, your adjustment that way. I'll show you this, how it works. In a pail of water. Basically, this is how your transducer is going to float. That's floating right now. And as you can see, I mean, I've got the cable. You can do things with the cable laying on the ice to keep it whatever way you want, but it's basically straight up and down. Uh, if you want it to go deeper, like I said, there's ways to modify it to do it. But this would do for early ice great. Later on, you can slide the sleeve up a bit. There it is with the sleeve slid up. It's uh, it's sitting, uh, it's off the bottom. It's not, it's then it's basically straight up and down. Um, like I said, you just put something in there for some friction on it. Once you get some ice in the cold, it might slide easier, and that'll uh, fix you right up. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll try and include the links on how to make your battery pack up if you don't want to buy one for uh, 40 to $50 at the hardware store, Canadian Tire, whatever. Uh, they have portable ones for like your uh, trail cameras and that. Uh, you just need a box, metal or plastic, with enough room. The reason I went with this, so as opposed to the other box, which is this one here, is because this had more room for height than needed it. Everything packs inside. Basically, it rotates open. Your transducer, everything's in there. You close it, you're set to go. Uh, you just use four screws to mount this on. Make sure they don't go through all the way through. Your unit's all the way adjustable. It works. 
and uh, you saw how the transducer worked in the pail there it worked fine so you've got power you've got everything you need um, like I said I'll put the uh, link in for that you can use anything from plug-ins to cigarette lighter plugs for the uh, power source and uh, basically you got any questions you can you leave it with your comments or your uh, questions and uh, at the end of the video and I hope this gets you with uh, a more modern fish finder onto the uh, ice and uh, we'll go from there thank you